these walls Burning my arms I've been hung on What a sad bye you Every word I could undo I've been uncrossed and I've been untrue I've been nothing I've been hard I actually wrote this one while I was traveling in England and I think I was just looking for something really constant and steady and so on the record for example there's this sort of just this one kick drum, driving kick drum is pretty much almost all the percussion that is coming from a drum kit. I mean there's shakers and other things but it's that kick drum like a steady heartbeat that kind of um, keeps the song moving forward. I think that's kind of what I was going for in my, it's what I was hearing in my head. I definitely put enough pressure on myself, but I have my own standards and I knew what I wanted to do and what I wanted to capture. And, um, ironically, the more pressure you put on something as well, the harder it is maybe to achieve it. Um, so you always have to let it go past a certain point. Once you get into the studio, you have to try and let it go. Making this record, I definitely gave myself more time, a lot more time, and a lot more space um, to try things out. I recorded a lot more songs and then I ended up narrowing it down. Um, it was a different process for sure in terms of the time and even in terms of spacing it out. Every month I would have maybe three or four days in studio where I would go and try out new things and, and so on and so forth. If you're looking for love, is it ever when it's new? When the iron is cold and the binding holds fast onto you? When I Howard Billerman is a really dear friend. Before I made my first record, I met him and we decided to work together. It's just natural that we'd want to work together for the second record. It's great, we share the same philosophies on music and about recording. If I want to articulate how I want something to sound, I don't necessarily have to explain it. I can come up with a metaphor that might make no sense. Oh, it needs to sound like wolves on the beach. And it won't make any sense, but maybe he'll understand. <laughs> Find a way soon But there's nothing that I want more Than a reason to be following you When you bring out the matches Just remember that I own them all too If I lie, I won't I recorded the cover of Touch the Hem of His Garment uh, because I'm a huge Sam Cooke fan and I think um, he's one of the greatest singers of all time and he's been a huge influence and inspiration on me and on my music and certainly on my writing. It may not be 
immediately evident, but I definitely think that I am drawn to a certain period of pop songwriting that I feel is really classic. I really always am looking for what makes this four minutes so perfect and in so many ways. How is it able to open up so much space in my imagination, even though it's such a small period of time and such a small um, amount of ideas, yet somehow it can open up a huge space. To me, to me, to me.